So to make this video a lot shorter than it has to be, I've, uh, I've edited the whole of the start out, so all you have to watch is the end bit. As you can see in the, the slightly to the left of the top of the screen, where it says, ne like next to my full heat, uh, I started the night at level 43, rep 43, and it says uh, this night 621k. Okay, in the next two races, this one I'm currently doing is, I believe, 29k rep. The one after that I do is about 42k rep. Um, all you have to do is get it. So up there it says 1 million. The easiest way to do this is wait until you're around level 45, preferably over. I was just lazy. Don't crash. Um, you have to try and get to heat 5 as late as possible, but you need to get there. Um, the reason I say that is because if you start a cop chase while on heat 5, uh, you get helicopters, you get rhinos, you get everything on you and it's very hard to lose the cops. As you'll see near the end of this video it took me quite a long time to escape the police twice uh, to be able to get, like end this uh, to get the trophy basically to be able to escape to my garage and get both the trophy or three trophies that I got during this night. Um, in this video obviously we're just focusing on uh, the the gain 1 million rep in a single night trophy, which is quite difficult. Uh, I'd say do the uh, rep races, the uh, uh, heat level races. So the one I did earlier, as you can see on my logo on the map, I'm already carrying an engine part. I did one rep level, uh, I did one heat level 3 race, which gave me that. They give you like 40 to 50k per time, so make sure you do those, because that's a big increase. Um, you basically want to do about 10 races, uh, but only do the ones that are giving you a, um, at least 30k. Uh, and then get that, hopefully, if you're lucky, get that five level 5 heat on one of the last, like the last race or two, so that you don't have to escape the place multiple times to be able to get to a garage to end the night to get the trophy. This race here is a heat 5 race, 42k as I said, uh, which at the moment I'm on 920k I think that says. Uh, because I've got heat 5 multiplier, my it goes up a lot every time. So it's not 40k you're getting, it's 40 times 5, which is 200k, which is a lot. So if you can get those, then you can pretty much get this trophy within within maybe half hour. I think I, it took me about 45 minutes. Um, and I'm not even level 50 yet. If you're doing this with the level 50 car, the Koineseg, Koineg, Koineg Seg, something like that. Uh, if you do it with that car, you can more than likely escape the police a lot easier. But that car is a lot of money. I think it's 1.2 mil. And you have to already be rep 50 to get it. Um, it's, this trophy is quite self-explanatory. If you're watching this video to understand how to do it, it's more than likely because you want to find an easier way around it. Uh, there is more than likely glitches out there to, I don't know, duplicate rep during a night. But the easiest way to do it is the legit way, which is do these races get up and to be honest it's not it wasn't that like that annoying doing it like I was stressed out near the end I was like scared that I was gonna get caught and have to do the whole thing again but it was actually a lot of fun because uh, it's a lot of races you're doing at once like and I think the sprint races are extremely fun here's another hint if you're struggling with this another tip I guess uh, don't do circuit races I did that once made that mistake I went from uh, heat 3 to heat 4 in one race which you don't want to do you want to delay the heat as much as you can um, I I basically the way that circuit races are more difficult is the fact you're going around in a circle so you escape the cops by outspeeding them but next time you get there on that lap they're there again getting you multiple times uh, slowing you down you know it's easier to do the sprint races and also pick the sprint sprint races that are going to end you in a location that will be near another race that's giving you 30, 40k. You can then instantly do without having to get into a race. See there, a rhino almost hit me. That was lucky I escaped that. This here is the hard bit. So there is eight minutes of me escaping and then getting caught again and escaping and getting caught again by the uh, police. I'll let you watch if you want. It's you don't have to. It's I I did like. A, couple of smart things that you might want to watch which is as soon as you've escaped the cars that are on the ground uh, chasing you and they are quite far back find cover so the helicopter the chopper can't see you anymore 
but make sure you're doing all this in the proximity uh, it, basically in the like close enough to a safe house that you don't have to drive ages to then get uh, the night ended with like here I lost the car so I hid under the cover and then drove the opposite direction the chopper I think disappeared a few seconds before I lost the cops that was it drive towards there there was a cop right up my ass which some reason he couldn't see me straight away so then he got straight onto me called in reinforcements and that was it it was it was started again so uh yeah watch this if you want it's it makes sense everything will add up you know you can do it yourself but uh yeah this is what i did to get the trophy Contact. Landing subject vehicle. 
step up and keep up with us. Tell him to get going. Reinforce vehicles onward. Come on, let's take him out! Keep an eye out for the SRT band in clobbering time. What's it gonna take to knock this one out? Get the helicopter out pronto! My eyes in the sky, you got him. You know they felt that one. Think you the trouble of setting up the spikes for yourself. Now you think I'll air. Okay, got it. My patrol car is prepared with what you can do to achieve. This fool just doesn't know when to keep up. Never easy.